What is poppin' fam? Spanik here, coach of your Reno Acerola. Actually, no, for this game, I'm Alabama Crimson Surf, but I am playing my Reno Acerola account. I have, well, the reason my Reno Acerola account also has a zero in it is because I know I took the one with the O in it in Reno, but alas, I forgot the password for it. So I had to so put a zero on it for the Reno Acerola Showdown account. You don't like it? Well, that's too bad. <laughs> And this is ICBA Week 9, which was the final week I played in as I forfeited Week 10 because there was no chance I could have made playoffs, so I, and I didn't have the time. So I figured I would just forfeit Week 10 because I really didn't have any reason to play it. Congratulations on your 10-0 season, Merck. <laughs> and here we are taking on the... And here we are taking on Deebs. And we are... Yeah, we're taking on Deebs and his... Uh, I forgot his team name. Calgary Flame Wheels. This guy started 0-5, but he's been on a freaking rampage since he decided to pick up Ash Greninja in free agency. And we unfortunately fell victim to his tyrannical rampage. I'm not even gonna go over the, I'm not even gonna go to, gonna go over his team because literally all his team is is Ash, is Ash Greninja and five placeholders. It all my team is is Ash Greninja Dinner. I kind of just brought stupid shit this game. Like, I brought Don... Like, I brought a Weakness Policy, Rock Polish, Don Fan. Like, I brought a freaking, uh... I don't know what the hell I brought. I brought, like, a Quiver Dancing Milli... Quiver Dancing Lilligant. Yeah, I brought, like, dumb... I Pheromos just broke his team in half. That's why I brought it. It breaks every team in half, though. I think I have, like, a Magic Coat Anti-Lead Mesprit as well, for just in case he decided to bring Smeargle, which he did. <laughs> So that's just a brief rundown of my team. His team is essentially Ash Greninja and five placeholders. So let's get right into this beatdown. So I decide to lead with my Mesprit as he leads with his uh, Weebs, his Raichu. What is up, Weebs? It is Deebs. So he goes into his uh, Gluskor. I set up Rocks. And there's the Toxic Orb. Uh, what else does do? He sets up Rocks. I uh, U-turn out into... This battle happened ages ago. Into my Dom fan, because I figured here I'd start setting up. He might switch out fearing the, uh... Figured here I was going to start setting up. He might switch out... Yeah. So it goes into that. I rock polish up. I know Feeny could live a gunk shot from this range. I was hoping Surf wouldn't kill me, so I could get the weakness policy boost. But, alas, he crits me. I think the, I think the calc was a roll in his favor anyway. So it's alright, no big deal. It's not like Ice Shard is going to take out an Ash Greninja anyway, but Earthquake actually may have. Because at plus two, I'm actually, he did have Water Shuriken. So it's at a, uh, it wouldn't have swept, but I wouldn't have gotten wrecked as bad as I did. Yeah, so essentially all that happens now, this is where I fuck up. He goes in Ash Greninja. I forget Miracle doesn't affect Dark Types, and that's going to be GG. Because as you can see, I have nothing for an Ash Greninja. I played absolutely dog shit this game. And I allowed myself to get 6 owed by Deebs and his Ash Greninja of death. So Ash Greninja gets even more free kills right here. He's not. I was trying to bank on the fact he was choice. He's not choice. This is going to get bopped by Water Shuriken. So even if I was Scarf Shandy, I think I was Specs regardless. So even if I was Scarf Shandy, it isn't even going to matter. This, is, this was just a quick video of you guys seeing me get my ass handed to me by Deebs. And... I know it's my pop it wasn't even by popular demand, but what are you gonna do? I couldn't even get a crit there to maybe salvage a differential point. Alas. We finished three and seven in ICBA. I am staying for season two. I will be Reno Ace Roll in season two. Season two, we're gonna bounce back. We are going to make playoffs in season two. Mark my words. We got our asses kicked we got our asses kicked in season one. Well, three and seven's not that. Eh. When you're in a league like this, three and seven's not too bad. I actually was still, in, I actually was technically still in playoff contention by this week. If I won this game and then somehow beat Merck in week nine, I would have finished five and five, and I could have actually still made playoffs. <laughs> Based on like like playing around with differential, because the guy who made playoffs in the sixth seed of my conference was uh, Jacob, who did have head to head on us. So I think it would have came down to diff points. But if I won out, I still had a shot at playoffs. So that's a 10-week that's a season for you. It, it could come down to the last week for playoffs. I think season two is also going to be a 10-week season. We'll bounce back. This team, it wasn't a bad team. 
it wasn't a bad team by any means. I just it just didn't synergize the way I wanted it to, like the way I thought it was going to. Faramosa was fun to use, but people did find ways to prep for it. Like Leo in week one, like we in week one murked it with quick attack Verizion, and I think someone else had another tech for it. I forgot what it was though. I think it was Sucker Punch Drudagon. It's just that Faramosa gets dicked by every priority in the game. That's the problem with Faramosa. Should it should it be banned in mainstream leagues? Yes, it hits like a truck. But priority is it's kryptonite. So, span it out, and I will see you guys when I come back from vacation. This is probably going to be the last video I upload before I go on vacation. Maybe I, th I have another video in the works, but I don't know if I'm going to have the time to upload it, because it's going to be a long one. It's going to be a long one. I posted a teaser for it in some of my discords. But it's gonna it's gonna be a long it's gonna not really gonna be a long video. I'm gonna need a ton of time to record it, which I don't have. Maybe I'll find time this weekend to do it. I have no idea. If it comes out before I go on vacation, it comes out before I go on vacation. I already have everything set up for it. I just gotta record it. Otherwise, it's gonna be out after I go on vacation. But it's gonna be a fun video though. It's gonna be a fun video. And I hope to start it as a series on my channel, not Pokemon related. I did drop a hint in a few of my Discord Discord links earlier this, earlier this week. I did drop a hint for it in some of my discords earlier this week. I think it was a picture of the New York skyline with like a shadowy, with like a, I don't want to say eerie space to it. It's just, yeah, I, kind of an eerie space to it, more of like a shadowy, cloudy thing. But that's the teaser for it. That's all I'm giving away. I'm not going to give away anything else. So, Spanik out, and I will see you guys either later with it, either, either later in a few days or so with that video or after i come back from uh hawaii so hispanic and i'll see you guys whenever peace voice